going on everybody welcome back to another video today we're gonna do something a little different so i just did my uh turkey hunting setup uh the other day so what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna go and show y'all or actually not really show you what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be patterning my shotgun and so as i said in that video guys this was gonna be my primary ammo this is remington nitro it's not Nitro Express. I keep wanting to say Nitro Express. I don't know why. Whatever case, it's Remington. Uh, three and a half inch turkey shot. What I'm actually going to do is I was able to find, like, premium ammo. And this is the Winchester Longbeard XR. Which I'll show you all here in just a second. But what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to be throwing a uh, Picatinny rail on here. And my red dot. And we're going to sight that in today. So, I'm going to go upstairs. I can't show you guys my... Uh, throwing on of the of the uh, attachments due to community guidelines on YouTube so uh, I'm gonna get those things thrown on here and then we're gonna go out and I'm gonna sight the gun in the best I can and then we're going to pattern it and just see how good of a pattern it can hold out at longer ranges and just see overall performance wise and actually we might do what we might end up doing is what, let me show y'all here real quick what I actually ended up getting then. What I ended up getting was this. This is the Longbeard XR. Three and a half inches well. So them side by side. Uh, and I'm going to do kind of a comparison. Which one is better? I know this one is made to uh, hold a long, long distance pattern. So anyway, I'm going to throw this red dot on my gun. And we'll catch y'all after that. Sheesh, all right, there we go, guys. We got it thrown on. I do not know what brand this is. This is just some off brand that I picked up off of Amazon. Put down where you can see. There you go. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head out. I'll show you whatever it says. It's uh, Fiat or something like that. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead. I don't have some, I have one actual turkey target, and uh, we will use that later. What I've got is these, and these are going to actually be a whole lot easier to use out at longer ranges. So, I'm going to go ahead, get all my stuff set up, and uh, we'll see y'all out wherever I'm going to be shooting. Alright guys, so I went ahead and got it a uh, quick rough sided in. So now we're just going to go ahead and shoot this regular bird shot, make sure the pattern is good. Or at least make sure it's sighted in. We're at about, let's see here, about about 20 yards. A little longer. Yeah, it's dead on 20 yards here. So what I've got, I've got this little box. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot that. Um, get this thing set up just right. Let's see. I'm going to just aim for that little dot and see how tight the pattern and just see if the main just make sure the main pattern is on where I'm wanting to aim. So we go 20 yards. Well, I will say I think I hit that for dog on solid. So let's go out there and check, see how much damage we've done. Let's so make sure this here thing is tightened up. These old trap pods, you know, there's a little crusty. I ain't gonna lie, a little crusty. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Hold it. All right, so at 20 yards, guys, clearly the pattern is holding very good. As you can see, you got a couple right in the dot, and the main pattern is solid. So I'm not gonna even go ahead, and I'm not even gonna shoot it at 20 yards with the turkey shot, because I know it's shooting good. We're just gonna go right ahead and uh, get the turkey shot out, back it out to 40 yards, and do a pattern with both of those on one of those circle, on one of my uh, round targets. So we're gonna go ahead, back it up to this tree at least. I don't know, that could be about 45 yards or so. And I think that's where we're gonna just, that's where I wanna mainly focus on is out to a little longer range. I mean, clearly, I'm not gonna be setting up my decoys out at 40 and 50 yards, but I do want to make sure I'm comfortable with like knowing my gun's limits, knowing the ammo I've got, and just making sure it's going to perform 
the way it should. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this thing set up, and I'll catch you all here in just a second. All right, so the first round we're gonna do is Longbeard XR. My personal opinion, I just like this one a little better. This here is five shot, three and a half inch. I'm a little out of breath because I keep running back and forth, so sorry for that. Um, so, got our target down at, check with us, down at 40 yards. I'm going to go ahead. Got the GoPro set up down there as well, so you can see a little bit more clear at that point. But there we go. Going ahead, loading that big old three and a half inch round in there. And let's send her. 40 yards, long weird XR. Oh, goodness. Um, you know, I didn't really think of the fact of how much that would kick, and I was not braced for that three and a half inch turkey round. I mean, the gun's smoking, but I can see already clearly. That did some crazy damage to that target. So I'm going to go ahead, pull that target, put out a new one, and send around with the Nitro Remington. I want to show you all the, uh, the pattern on that one, then we'll put them up close right beside each other after I shoot this next one. But uh, this one, man, did some damage. So I was aiming, of course, right here. I was mainly wanting to focus what was in this circle here, not so much outside of that. That's about the main head zone. A pattern seemed like it was a little bit to the right. That's exactly how it was facing me. So my pattern was to the right a little bit, but uh, overall, I was still a dead turkey at 40 yards. And uh, I'm pretty darn confident with this stuff out to long range than that. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, shoot the Remington Nitro, also three and a half inch. I wanna brace a little better this go around. And, uh, See what we can get done here. There we go. Remington Nitro loaded in the gun and bracing off a little bit. Pretty good. Let's go get that one. Well, guys. I'm really actually surprised here. Um, this is a major difference. Major difference. So this here is the Longbeard XR Winchester. This here is the Remington Nitro. As you can see, this pattern is far more spread out at 40 yards. And I mean, I got more in the kill zone, but my pattern is way tighter here. You can tell that just by the main pattern, which is gonna be about right here, I'm guessing. Um, this one's pattern was very sporadic. So, um, yeah, that's a little bit crazy. That it did that much difference at that different of a range. I mean, the rent, sorry. I got my thoughts here. My sunglasses on. Look good, feel good, you you do good, you know, that's just how it is. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm actually really surprised. I thought the Remington would do a little better than that. I really did. Because I've got buddies that have used this for years. Um, I'm, I'm really surprised. I'm I'm actually just as a comparison. I'm going to go ahead. I've got this here. Uh, Federal TSS. Three and a half inch load as well. I would use this even if it, if it has a tighter pattern. You know, I don't know. But I don't use this stuff because it's seven and a half shot. I'm just not a big fan of that small shot so we're going to go ahead throw up one more target we're going to try this just as a comparison even if i don't really already plan on using this we're actually just going to give you a rundown exactly with this tss versus the uh long beard xr these tss i know for a fact it's a good round but my personal preference is heavier shot for a bigger bird so with this though, with seven and a half shot like this, it's just got a lot of BBs. So I got my target down there. Yeah, right, whatever, right there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and send one and see how she does. All right, here we go. Oh, he's 
Folks, that kicked worse than the long beard stuff. That's a lighter shot. <laughs> Golly. Well, like I said, there's a whole lot more BBs. But on this one again, the pattern is on the right side. Still got some in that kill zone, you know. But this is the difference. This here is Longbeard XR. This here is a Federal TSS Heavyweight Remington Nitro. So I'm clearly not going to go with this Remington Nitro stuff. Not like it's a bad round, but this, these both just seem a little bit, well, not even a little bit, just uh, the same higher quality. Just better overall. Um, so, anyway, as you can see, I do need to side it in a little bit better for the pattern to be pulled to the left. But overall, I'm really surprised at a at this here i'm kind of i'm really glad i actually did this even if i knew i was going to be using that long beard xr stuff most of the season i'm really glad i did this just for the knowledge going into a few more years so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like subscribe turkey season is literally in two months or two months my my foot um no turkey season is in three weeks so really looking forward to that Hopefully, Lord willing, we can go out of state a little bit. Um, at least that's the plan. I really would like to. But hopefully this was a little bit of a, I don't know, educating video for y'all. Um, I know I know, I, I know, I learned something about different rounds. I'm glad I did this. Because, you know, a lot of people go and think, ah, shotgun shell, shotgun shell is a shotgun shell. You can go kill anything you shoot at within range. Um, and yes, part of that's true, but... If your pattern isn't holding good out to 40 and 50 yards, probably shouldn't be shooting it, honestly, unless you're planning on shooting under those ranges all the time. And clearly, you always want to. As a turkey hunter, you want to. You want to make an ethical shot and not be doing stupid stuff. But you can't always plan for that. I mean, you could have a gobbler just hang out or hang up 30 yards out of your decoy setup. He's out there at 50 yards. You willing to take that shot? Me personally, with this knowledge, I am. But, uh, Anyway, guys, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Share these videos. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys. Let's get up to 1,000 subscribers. We're on the road. Um, so, anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.